We're joined now by Democratic Congressman Mike Quigley of Illinois, who serves as co-chair of the bipartisan Congressional Ukraine Caucus. It, thank you so much for joining us tonight. You were in the room for President Zelensky's address there. Uh, just give us a sense how it resonated in the room and, and the importance of him delivering this message right now. Sure. Well, I've been here 14 years. Uh, there aren't many moments like this. Uh, I think everyone in the room understood the sense of history involved, uh, something akin to uh, Winston Churchill addressing Congress. Uh, I was reminded that uh, uh, I met President Zelensky in Kiev in July, and you got that same uh, dynamic, uh, an extraordinary, uh, extraordinarily exciting moment. Again, if, if this doesn't get you going, check the pulse. The room was with him. Today, the U.S. committed to sending Patriot missile defense systems and additional military aid to Ukraine. You've traveled, as you said, to Ukraine during this conflict. In your view, how could those Patriot missiles impact the fight on the ground? And also, is there any concern that they could, at the same time, escalate the attacks from Russia? You know, on the, on the latter, I've heard that since the war began. I mean, we started funding this uh, as an insurgency, certain that Ukraine would lose the, the war in two or three days. And so we were funding them to, to battle an insurgency. And frankly, that was light weaponry. Uh, and as it became obvious that this war could go the other way, uh, every step of the way, we were concerned that, well, this will be escalatory. And it just hasn't played out. The fact of the matter is, if we don't want this to be a war of attrition, uh, we have to help them take the offensive. Uh, we saw uh, certain weaponry that we sent to them, the HIMARS, really changed the course of the war. Now it's time for weapons like the attackums that will help them in this conflict. The only way to end this in the final analysis is to make Putin realize that negotiating is, is the only solution. <laughs> uh, in, in terms of the Patriot missiles, I think it's part of a, a larger system. Um, you know, we think of Israel having an iron dome. It's much, much more difficult with such a large country and multiple borders where they uh, face attack. We have to give them something virtually like that. So, and I don't see the Patriots, which is largely a defensive weapon, uh, being f viewed accurately as escalator, but more as defense oriented. Uh, we've heard calls, as you're well aware, from some Republicans to potentially pull back on the unlimited aid that Ukraine is currently getting from the U.S. Are you concerned about the Republican takeover of the House impacting just how much aid gets to Ukraine in the coming months? Well, sure, but look, two things strike me. Uh, if, if tonight's response is any indication, my belief has been reinforced tonight that the majority of the Republicans who serve in the House are supportive of continuing to help Ukraine on an ongoing basis. Well, what I believe we're hearing from Leader McCarthy, who wants to be Speaker McCarthy, is, you know, I think he's attempting to appease those handful of votes that he needs to become Speaker because I still think almost every uh, Democrat is solidly behind ongoing support at this level uh, and that the vast majority of the Republicans are. Having said that, uh, the, the bill that we're going to pass to fund the government for the next year will give uh, Ukraine the resources it needs to get past any uh, blips we might have with change of leadership in the House. We're now more than 300 days into this war. Vladimir Putin has not slowed down his efforts despite multiple defeats on the battlefield. So do you see any, any game, any end game in sight for actually winding down this conflict? We heard uh, Zelensky say multiple times uh, about victory and at the end even uh, saying, you know, a happy victorious new year. Look, it's tough. I, I don't see Putin changing course. And people who say maybe there'll be a, a change of regime there, my concern in Russia, if there's a change in regime, it would conceivably someone be far worse, the ultra-nationalists. They're not mad that Putin got in a war. They're mad that Putin is losing the war and embarrassing uh, Russia. So uh, there's always room for diplomacy. But Putin only st understands strength and uh, the inevitable loss that could take place here. Uh, there's always room for attempts to save face, uh, but it's hard to reward Russia. It's hard for those who say, well, you're going to have to compromise because it encourages aggressive behavior in the future.
Congressman Quigley, we thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.